Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Be sure and check out my other videos, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Sig Sauer SP2022 chambered in 9mm. Uh, let's first start off by making sure the gun is safe. Uh, checking the mag well, no magazine. We'll rack it back. And as you can see, there is no bullet in the chamber. But it's going to say, all righty, uh, like I said, the 6 hour SP 2022, 9mm. It's a polymer framed handgun, double action, single action trigger. Uh, it's got a decocker. On this one, you can actually, uh, decocker is on, a, is on the left hand side uh, for right handed shooter. And also, the mag releases too. But I was reading in the manual, you can actually. Uh, there's just there's some, some stuff you can do to change uh, the mag release. Put it on the right hand side if, uh, if you ha happen to be a left hand shooter. Um, overall, I like it. It's pretty good. It's one of Stig's more affordable pieces. Uh, some of them can get pretty pricey, but this one uh, I think I paid about 3.99 for it uh, before tax. So after tax is uh, looking about 4.20, 4.30 after it's all said and done. It ain't too bad. Uh, you can find them online for a little bit better, but then you got to pay shipping, the FFL fees, and all that. So I think I did all right. Uh, of course, you get uh, the name of Sig. They're pretty, pretty well-known name. Uh, they make some real nice pieces, but this is one of the more affordable ones they make. Uh, let's take a look and see what it all, what all it comes with. Uh, my buddy bought one. A little bit, a couple months before I did. His came in a uh, in a hard plastic case. Mine is just this little cardboard box. Not for sure why that is, but uh, you got an extra grip for the back. I'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, of course, your manual, little registration form and stuff uh, tells you. And here it'll tell you how to change over the uh, the mag release if you want to swap it off to the other side. And uh, your gun lock, uh, just standard gun lock that comes with every gun. Uh, but on that, let's go ahead and take a look at that, uh, that uh, extra grip they have for the back. Uh, you're supposed to be able to do it with your finger. I find it's easier if you got a little screwdriver or a pen or pencil or something like that. Uh, if you look right back here, there's a uh, little button you push. I think y'all can see it there in the mag well. Might be able to, it's right on in there on the back. Uh, you just push that in. I'm going to use a screwdriver, just easier. And then we'll slide right on off like that. You can see the back of your gun. Kind of cool looking. Anyways, and then just slide the other one right on. And uh, it's different size for uh, if you have a different. That way you can get one that'll kind of fit your hand a little bit better. I like the other one, so I'm going to go ahead and put that one on back real quick. But I thought that was kind of nice. Uh, makes it a little bit more universal for. For people. Single action, which means it can be fired in double action or single action. Uh, if you, just in case you don't know, double action, what that means is uh, when you pull the trigger, it's actually moving that hammer back. You can watch it, see it, and then releases it. Single action, all it does is just uh, release that hammer, doesn't move it at all. Like if you get a single action revolver or a 1911, uh, all, all their triggers do is just release the hammer. They, they won't move it back at all, but with the with the double action, at first shot. When I when I if I carry it, what I normally do is I'll put one in the chamber and then use a decocker and put it in double action mode and uh, carry it that way. Like I said, in double action uh, on the trigger. It's it's a pretty long trigger pull. I think it's about 10 pounds. You can look on Sig's website and uh, look at the specifications on it, but I think it's about 10 pounds. That's kind of what it feels like. In single action, I think it's I want to say it's about four and a half. It's kind of, I'm not real wild about the trigger on this. It's got a little play in it right there in single action mode. You see that? And then finally it breaks. It just doesn't feel real real crisp like I like, but uh, it's not that big of a deal breaker for me. I don't pick this one up as often as I do some of my others because uh, of the trigger, but overall, it's, I mean, I can live with it. It's not bad. Um, Double action, real long trigger pull, that's kind of what you want. It's kind of like a safety device because there is no uh, no manual safety on here. Uh, the decocker, I don't know how familiar you are with handguns, but uh, pretty much what that does is it allows the hammer to be uh, 
to be reset without any fear of it striking up and setting off around. All you do is just the hammer back and this little lever right here, just depress that and it releases the hammer. Uh, you can see the sights on it. Uh, let me see if I can get you a good white dot. It's not too bad. Uh, they are fixed. You cannot adjust them. And oh, one thing I thought was pretty nice, nice uh, similar to the XDs. Uh, I reload my own. This is a this is a blank round. I reload my own ammo. So on this one, I make some dummy rounds that I can use for drills and stuff. But uh, I just reloaded a, a spent casing and uh, didn't put any powder in it. Just put the bullet and crimped it down and all that. Uh, but this one is not live, so there's no fear of it going off. But uh, similar to the XC, you, you have a round in the chamber. That little, you see that? You can feel that and see see if you have a round in the chamber or not. But I thought that was pretty neat. And, oh, and also one thing uh, I thought was kind of interesting for it. If you happen to have an XD, uh, this was off my Springfield XD45. Uh, the holster that came with it fits this gun. Perfect. Look at that. And even the the mag holder too fits it pretty nice. You can tighten down that little Allen screw right there, but it fit it pretty good. So I thought that was neat, just in case you happen to have a XD and uh, you don't have to go out and buy another holster. But uh, I prefer inside the waist holster if I'm carrying it, carrying it concealed. Uh, like I said, overall it's not too bad. She's pretty nice. It's not the most accurate nine I've shot, but uh, it's not bad at all. We kind of experimented around with different ammo. Uh, factory, I reload my own so I get I can I kind of play with it and uh, find out which which combination of powder and all that works the best. But uh, as far as factory ammo, we've got pretty good results with uh, with Magtech ammo. Uh, we were getting pretty good results with that. Never really had any feeding issues or uh, failed uh, failed to eject. Or anything like that but overall for the price I think it's a pretty nice gun uh, I don't think you can really go wrong with it like I said the only thing I don't like is that trigger, the trigger on especially in single action it's just got a little too much play but I think that's about it uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure and check out my other videos like it comment and uh, if you have any questions like I said just comment and uh, stay safe out there and have some fun